So I think it's important to show you guys why I chose this lock. Honestly, I saw a lot of complaints with the other manufacturer's keypads falling apart. I installed Carmtex lock on my RV in May of 2022, and the installation video was released in early June of 2022. But does the system hold up to the test of time? I normally release a one-year update video. However, we got a little bit busy last year, so today you're going to get an 18-month review. After using this lock for a year and a half, there are actually a couple things I would change, and we'll get to that later. First, I wanted the ability to choose whatever code I wanted, right? Carmtech at the time was the only company that offered a 10-digit keypad. Door handles get used a lot. I wanted a full metal assembly and handle. I wanted a large, easy-to-read, backlit keypad. Again, not available on all different RV locks. And honestly, I saw a lot of complaints with the other manufacturer's keypads falling apart, and this was not a complaint with the Carmtech keypad. Some other interesting things about this keypad. The volume control is a switch inside the RV. You have high, low, and mute, which is much easier in my opinion than using the keypad to adjust the volume. You also have the ability to turn the wireless receiver off. These constantly use battery power because they're constantly looking for the key fob transmitter signal. We bought these things, right, so we don't have to carry something to get back into the RV. So having the ability to turn off the receiver will give you longer battery life. Carmtech also gives you an additional latch that allows you to lock the handle in addition to the deadbolt for a little extra security. Now, I will say that I think all RV keyless entry manufacturers have a lifetime warranty, but Carmtech will ship you the warranty product for free. A lot of the other manufacturers are going to charge you for shipping to get that second unit out to you. And probably the most important factor for a lot of us is price. The Carmtech lock is usually priced equal or less than its competitors. At the time of filming this video, the Carmtech 10-digit lock is cheaper than the popular brand's 8-digit lock. And if you don't care about 10 digits and want an 8-digit lock, Carmtech makes those two and it's $40 cheaper with the current coupon. So with a little research and all things considered, it was almost a no-brainer for me. Okay, on to why you're here. What do I think of this keyless entry system after a year and a half? Guys, I have had zero mechanical or electrical problems with this keypad or the key fobs. It has worked flawlessly, no issues to complain about. The batteries last me from dewinterization in April until we winterize in November. They might even last a little bit longer, but I remove all the batteries from the RV when I winterize, and I usually just replace them when I dewinterize in the spring, so I can't really say. I even discovered a privacy feature after I installed the lock because of a viewer question. But yes, you can hold the lock button in for about two seconds to lock the deadbolt without having to use the code. But you'll obviously need the code to unlock the door. I'm kind of struggling to find an issue that I've run into with this keypad, but let me point out a couple things. I noticed the orange colored buttons on the keypad overlay faded a little bit. That's pretty insignificant in my opinion, but Carmtech does supply an additional overlay with the kit if you wanna change that out later on. But I think it's important to point out that the overlay has not cracked at all. And the buttons we use in our code aren't showing any signs of wearing. Now, something I would say needs to be improved is this interior pull handle. And this is actually a concern I've seen with other aftermarket door locks as well. The area you pull the door closed is just a little bit awkward. This area needs to be longer. It's almost like you can't get more than your fingertips around it. The factory door handles allow you to get more of your fingers around this lip to close the door. I think the reason this is a common complaint among all aftermarket RV door locks is because the manufacturers really have a limited space to extend this handle because of the screen doors. At the end of the day, it's not hard to close the door. You just have a little bit less of a lip to grab onto, but I'm actually working on a DIY solution. So hopefully I can get that video out this year. The only other negative thing I could think of is Carmtech does not make keyless entry systems for pass-through storage doors. Some other companies do, and you can use the secondary buttons on the remote control to lock and unlock your pass-through storage doors. I think keyless entry on pass-through storage doors is a much smaller market, but it is something I would like to see Carmtech do. However, if you have two entry doors on your RV, you can still use one remote control to lock and unlock both locks. Even if you don't mind carrying a small key to lock and unlock your RV doors, there are a few conveniences to having keyless entry. I know a few campers who've put a vinyl sticker on their RV door with their contact information because they travel with pets. If something were to happen, God forbid, like a fire while you're away from the RV, someone from the campground can call you, get the code and get the pets out. And of course, if you have more family members than keys, it gives everyone the ability to get in and out if everyone's kind of doing their own thing that day. Up until this point in time, the Carmtech lock was only available to replace the most common lock on most travel trailers and fifth wheels. But Carmtech just released their 10-digit lock for Class A and Class C motorhomes. Now there are different size factory door locks on Class A's and Class C's. 
So just like any other door lock, you'll have to check and see if this fits your motorhome. But I'll put links to this new lock and all the other CarmTech products down below in the video description. This thing is really nice and we're actually gonna be giving this away and whoever wins the giveaway is going to have it installed by yours truly. I'll be releasing details of the giveaway through our free email newsletter. If you haven't signed up, you can click the link on the screen now. If you wanna see the original installation video of my lock, click the video on the left. And if you appreciated the honest review, please click that like button and we hope you consider subscribing.